dear students now we are going to discuss attitude control subsystem in satellite communication attitude represents the orientation of satellite in space orientation means to keep the satellite antennas in the proper direction so here the attitude control subsystem is mainly used to keep the satellite antennas pointed at the correct earth location for example in case of earth environmental satellites the environmental sensing equipments are pointing towards the proper earth location and also to keep the solar array pointed towards the sun for getting more solar energy for its operation do you all understand this one at the same time the attitude of the satellite may be altered or changed by the disturbance forces so here the disturbance starts are the forces which can alter the satellite attitude that is orientation there are external forces and internal forces to change the attitude gravitational forces of earth and the sun solar radiation meteorite impact this all are the external forces so here motor bearing friction is the kind of internal forces to alter the attitude okay the change in attitude can be easily identified by using the horizon detectors so here horizon detectors are the ir sensors that is infrared sensors which are used to detect the rim of the earth rim of the earth means the edge of the earth in space so here we can consider the center of the earth as a reference point then we can divide the earth as four quadrant so here we can have four infrared sensors one for each quadrant of the year to detect the attitude changes okay as we discussed four sensors are used one for each quadrant of the year if there is any shift in the orientation of the satellite that is attitude change it will be detected by any one of the horizon detectors then the control signals will be generated and sent to the attitude control subsystem in the satellite to control the orientation of the satellite okay so that is very important part here so in general satellite's attitude is defined by three axes r p y r means roll p means pitch y means ya yeah. so here satellite's attitude is defined by three axes r p y so these three axes should be stabilized to maintain the orientation in the proper direction so here this three axes pass through the center of the gravity of the satellite so we have to keep this three axes pass through the center of the gravity of the satellite so here this is the pitch axis which is normal to the orbital plane this one is y axis that is ya axis it is directed towards the earth center this one is roll axis which is perpendicular to both y and p axis okay so this is the rpy axis for the geostationary orbit for an equatorial orbit movement about the roll axis moves the antenna footprint north and south so if you are going to move the satellite above roll axis that means to change the antenna footprint north and south if there is a movement about pitch axis then the satellite moves the footprint east and west so movement about ya axis that is rotating the antenna so these three movements are very important to maintain the three axis stabilization okay so next we are going to discuss the attitude control methods how are we going to control the orientation in satellite so there are two types passive attitude control active attitude control in passive attitude control it uses the attitude stabilization mechanisms 
without using power supply. That's why it is called as passive. Okay. In active, the corrective forces are applied in response to the disturbing tax. So here it is active based on the disturbing tax. No overall stabilizing tax is given to this method. So based on the disturbing tax, the corrective forces will be given to the satellite. Okay. Here the example for passive attitude control mechanisms are spin stabilization, gravity gradient stabilization. Here examples for active attitude controls are momentum wheel method, electromagnetic coils method, mass expulsion device. Okay. Next one is spinning satellite stabilization method. So this method is applicable only for cylindrical satellites that are known as spinning satellites. So the spinning satellites are mechanically balanced in a particular axis and spinning around that axis. So this is the geostationary orbital spinning satellite. So in this one it is balanced in this particular axis and spinning around this axis. So here we have to adjust the spin axis to be parallel to north south axis of the earth. So here it has to spin like this. Okay. Here the range of spin rate is from 50 to 100 revolution per minute. So during the launch phase only the small gas jets are used to initiate the spin. Okay. So during the launch phase only the small gas jets are used to initiate the spinning. If there is any change in the attitude due to some disturbance forces like external and internal forces then the impulse type thrusters additional thrusters or jets are used to correct the orientation so that is called a spinning satellite stabilization okay so here this attitude change due to the disturbance tax may be in the form of reduction in spin rate or the changes in the direction of angular position okay in the spinning satellite stabilization, gyroscopic effect is used to provide the stability. Gyroscopic effect means the ability of the spinning satellite to maintain a steady direction of the rotation. Okay, so that is known as gyroscopic effect. So next, nutation that is a form of wobbling. Wobbling means the movement from side to side due to unsteadiness okay unsteadiness means it can move side to side without any proper balance okay so it may occur due to the misalignment or unbalanced control jets in the satellite so it must be avoided by using nutation tampers or energy absorbers the major antennas used in spin stabilization methods are a parabolic reflector horn feeds mounted on despun shelf. So this is what despun shelf in the satellite portion. Then the communication repeater. Okay. So the next one is bearing and power transfer assembly system in satellite. So PAPTA. Simply we can say that as a PAPTA bearing and power transfer assembly of the spinning satellite to maintain the orientation. Here we are using control signals and power which should be transferred to the dispense section to maintain the proper feeding of Han antenna. So here the mechanical bearing must also be provided to maintain the orientation. Okay. Here the spinning flywheel can also be used to provide stabilization for dual spin spacecraft. So the next one is active stabilization method momentum wheel stabilization. So this method is used to provide stabilization for cube-like bodies that is non-cylindrical satellites. Spinning stabilization method is for spinning satellites that is cylindrical satellites. Here this momentum wheel stabilization is used for non-cylindrical that is body stabilized satellites. Okay. So here we can take the example Intel set 5 type. So in this one we are going to use gyroscopic effect of a spinning flywheel concept to maintain the 
orientation that is called as momentum v okay here the spinning flywheel is also called as momentum wheel this momentum wheel consists of the flywheel motor bearing assembly casing and then electric drive motor and electronic control circuitry so this all are the parts of this momentum wheel okay so in this one this flywheel is very important it is connected to the rotor okay so motor is having two parts one is rotor another one is stator so this flywheel is connected to the rotor which has permanent magnet for motor action so here the stator is connected to the body of the satellite so flywheel is connected to the rotor stator is connected to the body of the satellite then the motor provides coupling between flywheel and satellite so here this flywheel it is a type of wheel okay so this flywheel is connected to rotor stator is connected to satellite so here entirely the motor setup is used to provide coupling between flywheel and satellite okay so here the currents fed to the stator control the speed and torque of the motor to maintain the orientation okay next types of momentum wheel stabilization there are three types of momentum wheel stabilization mechanisms available one wheel stabilization two wheel stabilization and three wheel stabilization are reaction wheel stabilization so in this one wheel stabilization we are going to use only one momentum wheel to control a particular axis so in this method the control of the pitch axis is achieved by changing the speed of the pitch momentum wheel so here this is the pitch momentum wheel which is going to be controlled by this pitch control thrusters if there is any change in this pitch axis it can be controlled by this pitch control thrusters so change in attitude can be identified by using this horizon sensor okay in order to control the roll and yaw axis we can use this ro and yaw control thrusters okay so when the axis of rotation is along the pitch axis it provides the stabilization to both yaw and roll axis okay so next one is two wheel stabilization so in this we are going to use two wheels okay here pitch momentum wheel is used to control the pitch attitude so here this yaw momentum wheel is used to control the yaw axis okay so this is called as two wheel stabilization method so in this one the desaturation of the yaw wheel can be done by using electromagnets okay the last one is reaction wheel method that is also called as three wheel stabilization method so in this method three wheels are used to provide the stabilization for three axes pitch momentum wheel yaw momentum wheel roll momentum wheel so we can have thrusters for each axis so if the momentum wheels operated with zero momentum bias then it is called as reaction wheel so here the reaction wheels for roll pitch and yaw can be used to provide the stabilization in the proper orientation that is called as reaction wheel method okay